Hey friends, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about hackathons, especially for beginners who want to learn how to get started. If you're new to this channel, my name is Johnny and I'm a software engineer at Meta. And I've personally won over $30,000 worth of prizes from hackathons. And in this video, I'm going to be revealing all of my secrets. Even if you're new to coding or you're a seasoned developer, you'll definitely learn something new. I guarantee it. Okay, now let's dive in. First, let's start with what a hackathon is and whether beginners can join in on all of the fun. A hackathon at a high level is basically just an event where teams come together and create innovative prototypes or hacks within a very short amount of time, usually about 24 to 48 hours. They're high energy, fun-filled opportunities to build something with a group of hackers. It could be strangers or your friends. These events are often centered around themes like AI, crypto, or big data. So there's usually a lot of variety. Most hackathons are free, though some of them may require an application or a fee to join. But overall, most of the hackathons that I've been have been pretty skill agnostic. This means that everyone was welcome to join in and hack. So if you're new to the space and you're a complete beginner, I highly recommend you to just go and check it out. Now, if you want to prepare for a hackathon and if you want to try to win some prizes, here are some insights and secrets into a hackathon that you should know. To start, the most important thing to understand is that all hackathons are sponsored by companies. What this basically means is that there's a business reason why companies put up thousands of dollars in sponsored prizes and even manpower during these events. At the end of the day, they're there to make some money and advertise their technology to developers. It's basically a marketing event. Understanding this simple fact is actually the key to understanding how to win hackathons. Oftentimes, teams of hackers usually go into a project, guns blazing, coding up some random idea that they think is you know, just kind of cool. They barely talk to anyone at the boots and just hack away. And I can't say this enough, but avoid this at all costs. The single most important step at a hackathon, if you're trying to win, is actually talking to the companies that are sponsoring the event. This is really important because the people who are manning the booth are oftentimes the judges for each of the sponsored prizes. And their criteria for picking a winning project usually isn't about creating the most elegant and perfect code. It's actually about choosing a project that essentially best showcases their company's technology in a prominent and compelling way. For example, when I won a prize at TechCrunch Disrupt, I spent a ton of time talking with the engineers from the sponsoring companies. One of them was Esri, a map-related SaaS company. During our conversation, I asked about a specific animation feature in their JavaScript SDK that was essentially missing from their mobile SDK. The engineers admitted to me that they didn't have a solution for it yet. And it's something that they've been actually just trying to implement it for some time internally. And at that moment, I realized that there was an opportunity. So I took my chance and I asked him, hey, if our team created that capability and presented a compelling app showcasing your map experience with like the animations itself, could you choose us as winners? And they essentially called us on their bed and said, if you do it, we'll give you the win. So we got to work. It took us the entire night to pull it off, but because there was a clear path to winning, it made it worth it. And the next day we presented our project and the engineers were thrilled. We ended up winning $5,000 for just a simple hack. Not so bad for a single days of work. And you know what the funny thing is, is that I actually entered this hackathon right after my bootcamp. I actually haven't even landed my first full-time software engineering job yet. In this example, by talking to sponsors, we identified a clear problem the company was facing and we gave them a simple solution for it. Now, this doesn't mean that you always need to improve like a company's code base to win a hackathon. Um, but the key takeaway here is that you want to start the project by understanding how to impress your sponsors directly. You know, you need to solve their problems. For example, most of the other hackathons that I've won were mainly by talking to sponsors and figuring out what they cared about and why they were there in that event in the first place. It's like market analysis. You want to know what your customers want before you even write a single line of code. So now, what does this mean for beginners? Well, it means that there is a clear way for you to contribute, even if you don't know how to code. So here's a few practical ways that you can shine as a hacker. You can be the product manager for your team. Your job essentially would be to go and talk to sponsors, figuring out the best product to build and how to essentially use some of their technologies 
you know, combining multiple APIs from various companies in a cohesive way that makes sense. And while you're doing this, you want to essentially ask the sponsors what kind of projects that they would love to see, you know, and also pitch them your ideas and see how they like react, right? And after you've done all of this and you finish your market research, essentially, you can then translate those ideas into kind of like a product spec for your team. So this is one really clear example and clear role that you can do. Another great role that you can take on is the presenter. I myself actually did this for my first hackathon. I didn't code at all. All I did was present the idea. We didn't win that one, but it was a great learning experience. So what is a presenter? Usually at hackathons, you always end up presenting your project and preparing and delivering a strong three to five minute presentation takes time and effort. You need to be confident and remember, a winning presentation is one that makes the sponsor companies look amazing. I'd estimate that a great presentation is basically half the project. In fact, I recommend working backwards from a presentation itself. At the start of your project, think about the key points of your presentation and the features you want to showcase. Now make sure these features that you decide to build highlights the sponsor's companies. Having a clear vision of the presentation will make it essentially easier for your team to focus on the exact screens and features that they need to build. And in my opinion, this step is extremely important because at a hackathon, you know, time really isn't on your side. You just simply don't have enough time to do everything that you want to do. So I recommend you to essentially mock up what you need to, take shortcuts where it makes sense. You know, it's a hack, not a production ready software. However, you still do want to code a large part of your project and make sure that it's actually kind of working. Sponsors do end up checking your repo to ensure that you're actually building something that is working and has all of like kind of the important parts that you're talking about and that you're not just submitting a PowerPoint presentation. Now, if you follow all of these tips, I guarantee that you can win a hackathon, even if you're a beginner. You know, start off small with smaller events, bring a friend and just have fun. Hackathons are essentially an easy way for you to make your resume shine in the beginning. I myself did this when I had no experience. I won three hackathons or so during my time at the bootcamp, and my resume was essentially just all hackathon projects and my bootcamp stuff. If you wanna see that video where I break down my exact resume that landed my first software engineering job, you can check it out here. With that said, I hope you learned something new about hackathons, and I hope that you win a bunch of them. Be sure to message me if this video has helped you win a hackathon. But yeah, that's it. That's my tips on hackathons. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm also thinking about making a bunch of videos on AI and various topics about AI in the future. I actually have a ton of relevant experience on AI. I just haven't made any videos on it. If you're interested, comment below AI, the word AI, and I'll make some videos depending on how many people comment. <laughs> but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.